okay the video i'm about to share is to make others learn you know you know, to make others learn i'm just sharing my life experience and things i've seen and things i've heard from other people and things i have been through just for that to learn okay let me tell my tell you how i got myself and thank god with one one girl you see that's the reason why i made a video and i was like you can't be a trying young man and you go get married to a prostitute you know sometimes it's very hard for you to change them you know i know everybody's not the same you know some people might change but it's very hard for you to change a prostitute and sometimes it doesn't work you know so then you know normal guy stands you know then but it was back then in ghana though so i met one girl she was fine i went out to get some girls and i saw the girl she was so fine like she was my perfect spec so i went up to her and i spoke to her hi what's up i did be now we could link up for the night now and she was like okay fine okay she told me and a prize and i took her with me went back home we did what we did i paid her and she left so that is she she was leaving my phone was down though i could have charged my phone though but i don't know what happened but i refused to take her number and i asked her to come back again that next time she comes i'm going to take her number so she left the house and she she went to her place you know then two days later she came and my friends were like oh mother gave me a car she don't come see you so i came out and i get put her to come she came in and i was talking to her i was like i'll be able to up now so she came i gave her drinks you know we played and she went back to her house i didn't collect her number again that was the second time right so the third time she came again and the same thing happened i didn't take her number so that was like i don't know i think that was like my spirit speaking to me not to get myself involved with that girl but i was not listening so she left that day so when she left i was talking to my friend, my friend was like ah what's up guy you don't fuck up oh. that girl don't come your house like three times you refuse to take her number so i was like oh 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 that's true no i felt a bit bad that ah man this girl she she would have for me oh. you know all of a sudden i started having this feelings like i couldn't even rest i was restless at that point so i started looking for her you know so I told my friend, ah, I'm going to go find this girl. My friend was like, okay, ah, let's go. So when I got to the place, I think the first day I was looking for her, I couldn't see her. The spot I went to take her that day, I went the first day, I didn't see her. You know, the second day I went there. This actually happened in Liquid Bar then, you know. So I went the second day, I didn't see her. I went the third day, I didn't see her. So I just, I just kept going. So one day I was out with my friend, you know. So we went out and my friend was like, ah, there you go, I see that girl made the find that day. So I was like, which girl? He said, that girl not made the final. So I was like, oh. So I went to meet her. She, okay, he called the girl. I didn't go to meet her. He called the girl. I was like, okay, I'll call the girl for you. So my friend called the girl. I was like, ah, what's up now, Omo? You don't find this girl since I'm going to carry this girl. So, so I started talking to her. You know, I had no intention of taking her home that day. So I started talking to her. I was like, ah, babe, what's up now? So I was like, ah, ah, fana. I did be normally, yeah, normally on a regular basis. And then if you want to carry opio, you know, and that kind of 150 CDs or 200 CDs. So that day I was talking to her and I was like, ah, babe, what's up? Mamoku, Moku hang out. Now Moku just together this night now. Make I give you 80 CDs. Lo and behold, she said, okay. And she followed me to the house. You know, we spent time. We had fun. Then it was morning. So we communicated all through the night and things like that. We spoke and she was not complaining to me that she's having house issues, that she doesn't have a house and things like that. So, and I was like, okay, so what do you want me to do for you? She was like, uh, she wants to go look for a house, blah, blah. I was like, okay, no problem. So I called my friend, like this girl, she's looking for a house. Look where I go find a house now. She said she came money. So we started looking for the house. We went out, we started looking for houses, we went to places. So when we got there, the money that, we, that, that they were calling, uh, she couldn't afford it because her money was not enough. And me, that period, I was not even having enough money. That period that that thing happened, I was not having enough money. So I couldn't assist her. So I just, I was so devastated. I was like, how? How? Like, I don't know how to help this girl. And this girl, she can't be living in the street because she says she doesn't have a place to stay. That she's having issues with her friend. 
So I just told my friend, I beg, I can't do this. Meet this girl, the girl, I beg. Make sure go find a house. Make sure she get that money. Make sure take find a house. So my friend came to meet my friend. And my friend was like, what well, I which was a setup. I don't even know. And my friend was like, ah, Derek, I find now. Ah, this girl like you. Why you not carry this girl? Just a partner. Make sure they with us. Make sure they stay with us for the main time. So then I had other friends that were staying with me. So she was like, why you not carry this girl? I mean, this girl can't just stay with us now. And I was like, oh, I beg, guy, I don't want any girl problem like this. I don't want many girl come stay with me because when she starts staying with you, you start feeling entitled. I don't want that kind of issues. I don't want, I don't want to even stay with her. Like, I don't even care. So my friend was able to convince me. So I, I called her. I was like, what's up? Can you stay with us? Till you get your apartment and she said ah no problem so i told her see as they come to this house now eh me and you no get business so the only thing i can do for you you see food eh you can eat as you like there's no problem with food anything you want is here but i won't give you money for your hair i won't your upkeep is not my business you are not dating you are just you just you're just coming here to, to stay and like this like this and they still like boy and she was like okay no problem i didn't know she was upset about what i told her so she went back home. So she was supposed to come back that evening. And she didn't come back. She was supposed to go bring her back and come to the house. And then she didn't come back. So I called her like, ah, babe, what's up now? Why you no come again? The girl was like, eh, why you tell me, say, I be like, man, for your high. She be a no fine rich, blah, 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 blah. I was like, what is when they talk? So as a guy now, as a gentleman, I told her, oh, sorry. I was just trying to make you understand my point of view, like, we're not dating. I'm just really trying to help you. That, okay, I was like, okay, no, 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 no vex, I beg. That won't be the problem. No worry, sorry about that one, just come. So she, she, she took her bag and she came to the house and she was staying with me, you know. You know this girl, at things started going and, you know, you can't, see, let me, the fact is that you can't be with a girl in a house for one year or six months without something happening. So I don't know for that people, but it doesn't work like that. Before I know, this girl was able to seduce me, convince me, confuse me, and started dating. That's where the problem started. Because at first, you know, I didn't tell her. All I told her was that I don't want us to date. You are my friend. Like, I don't want us to date. Yeah, you just stay in here for the main time, you know. And that was our agreement. So, sort of like, suddenly, suddenly, she was, a, I don't know, she was just doing her thing. And I fell for her trap. And we started dating. So I started dating. It was going like that, you know. It was going, things were just going like that. So I started supporting her with some little things that I had. She asked me how to support her and things like that.